great logo helps you make a crucial first impression when prospective customers first see your brand. If your logo doesn't convey the right message or looks generic or amateur, your company is at an immediate disadvantage. CrowdSpring, my company, has helped tens of thousands of the world's best entrepreneurs and small businesses with logo design and other design and naming services. Whether you have an existing logo or you're considering a logo for a new business, make sure that your logo has these 10 very important elements. Number one, a logo should be strong and balanced. A logo, also known as a logo type, is an icon made up of just text or just a graphic symbol or both of these elements. Your logo should reflect your company, its heart and soul, and its personality. Favor logos that have a strong, balanced look. The logo for FedEx is a good example. It's easily readable, has a good balance, and if you look very closely, even has a creative hidden element. Look for the white arrow between the letters E and X. Number two, a logo should be simple. I cannot overstate this enough. Simplicity is critical. A complex logo will be difficult to print and reproduce and may not fully engage your audience. Take a moment and think about the brands that are successful, famous, or the ones you admire. Most likely, you've thought of companies like Apple, Volkswagen, Target, McDonald's. What do they all have in common? They all have logos that are simple and easily recognized when printed by themselves and when printed in solid black and white. Number three, a logo should be memorable. Your logo does not always need to describe what your business does. Have you ever seen a car manufacturer with a picture of a car as their logo? Or how about a shoe manufacturer? It would look silly to have a picture of a shoe on a shoe. When using icons in your logo design, consider icons that could communicate your brand without the company name. And a good example is Nike's Swoosh. People around the world recognize a Nike shoe or a piece of clothing when they see the swoosh. A strong icon will allow you to use the icon as a standalone image on product packaging, for example. Number four, a logo should be flexible. A logo should be visible and distinguishable on a big billboard from 100 meters away or on a small business card from 20 millimeters away. It should also work well in different size formats, like for example on business cards, brochures, t-shirts, and other marketing materials, such as stamping and embossing. For example, notice how LinkedIn's logo is clean and readable regardless of size. A good logo will work in many colors and in just one or two colors, and yes, black is a color. So for example, here's a logo for medium, which works nicely in green and also in black and white. And finally, a good logo will work well on light backgrounds as well as dark backgrounds and even on multicolored backgrounds. And one other thought on flexibility. Be sure that you use your logo consistently and that your logo gives you the flexibility to do so in multiple formats. Number five, use appropriate colors. If you're looking for a color logo, consider the messaging that color sends to your customers. Do the colors reinforce and strengthen the intended core message and the personality you're trying to communicate through the logo? Do the colors distract? So here's an example. Blue communicates trust, loyalty, and freshness. Color blue is common in banking and finance, and you'll see lots of those sites with the blue color. Green represents life, nature, and cleanliness. And also consider colors that work well with dark and white backgrounds. Because logos are often printed on black and white, choose colors that can work on both. Think twice about including more than three colors in a logo, because if you have too many colors, it'll increase the cost of printing and it'll be more difficult to reproduce. Number six, a logo should be timeless. Now, a logo can and often will evolve and change over time, but the longer it stays the same, the better recognition you'll get over time. So take a look at the evolution as an example of the Pepsi Cola logo over the years and compare that with the consistency of the logo designed for Coca-Cola. A good logo will have a sense of timeliness about it. If it feels anchored in a certain time period, it's going to feel outdated or will need changes more quickly. And the best logos change very little, yet feel fresh and vibrant every time. Number seven, a good logo should be unique. Will your logo stand out among the clutter and the crowd? 
Avoid clip art and don't buy logos from so-called logo stores where hundreds of businesses buy the exact same design. It is really disturbing when you start noticing your logo and things that look like it and many other people's brands. That's the quickest way to, to, to look low budget and second rate. And that's why we don't allow designers on Crowdspring to use clip art, public domain art, or commonly used logo elements when creating logos for clients. Professional custom logo doesn't have to cost tens of thousands of dollars and you can get a great result. Number eight, be sure your logo uses good typography. Now there are thousands of different typefaces and each conveys a unique message. So for example, typefaces with serifs, which are small lines attached to the end of a stroke in a letter or a symbol, convey a sense of dignity and power. Sans serifs, which are typefaces without such lines, are often more clean looking and offer either a sense of stability or whimsy. Topography is a craft in and of itself. There are some truly horrible typefaces out there. Number nine, a great logo reflects your brand. Your logo has to derive meaning from your brand, not the other way around. The world's best brands are not well known because of their logo. They're known because the people and vision the logo represents. And when designing on the direction of your logo, make sure that you have already thought about your brand and the direction of your company. Finally, number 10, be sure that your logo is vectorized. And this is important. Always request vector-based graphics. It's tempting to ask for complex illustrations in a logo, but unless you plan on never using your logo outside of an on-screen or online application, a single image file like a JPEG or a PNG isn't going to cut it. A properly drawn vector design will provide you with the ultimate flexibility. On Crowdspring, we require every logo project include a vectorized version of that logo. You have a unique opportunity to stand out from the competition. With the right logo, you can communicate your brand's values from the first moment a customer sees your brand. You only get one chance for a first impression, so make it a great one. If you're looking to learn more about starting or growing a new business, click the link below to download CrowdSpring's free ebook, Stand Out, an Entrepreneur's Guide to Starting, Growing, and Managing a Successful Business.